Sweet, sweet upgrades. That's a lot of <laughs> three S's and a whole lot of A's. God damn. So those dispatch missions for your combat teams basically nullify the entire purpose of actually capturing soldiers yourself, don't they? Holy crap. No big deal, we're just gonna dump like a hundred A's on you. Yeah, I guess I don't need to try to Fulton people anymore. Let's just find out what the numbers turn into when I redistribute staff, because I'm honestly very curious now. <laughs> I, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be Fultoning that many people in the future unless it poses a tactical advantage or it's a vehicle. In fact, Fultoning vehicles is really handy because it takes them out in a way without having to explode them. That was the only effect is something became rank 40? They must have automatically distributed in some way. I don't know. We have a lot of high-ranking people now, apparently. Yeah, a lot of high-ranking things. All right, subsistence, C2W. You probably thought I was gonna skip on these because they're technically repeats, but I'm up for the challenge. If they wanna create a really specific scenario for me, I'll definitely go for it. Also, I think I'm having online connectivity issues, so I think it's randomly taking away my GMP from time to time. Don't know if that's back yet. Oh well. I love online features in video games that are single player. Good idea. Boss, information warfare is more than just intel gathering. It also means disrupting enemy communications. Your mission is to punch a hole in the comms network between the Soviet outposts. That'll cut off their means to call in reinforcements. Technically, we were given this mission by a Western-backed Arab organization supporting the guerrillas. But it'll also give us a leg up in the future. Take a look at the location of the Eastern Communications Post on your iDroid. Head there and destroy its comms equipment. He who controls information, controls operations. Just look at Cypher. Good luck, boss. Alright, so it's the ultimate, uh, infiltration mission or something. Basically, if I am interpreting these directions correctly, I can't do any support things, I can't do a missile strike, I can't have any companions, I can't call in a supply drop, and I don't get stuff like reflex mode or slow mode and or chicken hat, which I won't use anyway, because I'm not like, oh, I'm not gonna like cheat through a level. That's kind of pointless to bother showing. <laughs> and so basically I think I'll, I, I assume you can call in a support helicopter or something eventually to leave, but even that might not be true. We might have to manually run out of the zone. <laughs> but uh, it's a repeat of an old mission. Destroy the Soviet comms equipment, but you have to do it uh, without a lot of the things that normally help you. Let's see. Mission accepted. So there's the communications post. Danger high, it says. So I assume that if I click on that, that we could technically land. Oh wait, is this the location? I think I remember this location. You sneak your way through here on this raised platform. And you get through like this far in, and then like I think tanks come through or something? Mission Is that this one? Accepted. That might be this one. Interesting. If I'm supposed to take out those tanks as they come by, that might be I might be in trouble, especially if it's on-site procurement. Well, to, to be safe, I think I'm, I'm gonna drop down over here, because it feels like dropping down over there might get me in some serious trouble, but we'll find out. To Confirm to begin mission immediately without short sortie prep. Yep. I'm sure we'll be fine, I'm doomed. Episode 33, Subsistence C2W. Boss, you need to disable the Soviet's reinforcement system by putting a hole in their base-to-base -base comms network. Head for the Eastern Communications Post and destroy its comms equipment. First, use the binoculars to locate the communications equipment at the facility. If you're watching these videos as they come out, by the way, this does mean that Metal Gear's back! And now instead of every other day videos, it's everyday videos, hopefully. Because, uh, the whole reason it was on hiatus was because was I put certain shows on hiatus so I could finish other shows. So they've, they've uh, sent us out at night. Looks like they've sent us out with basic equipment. I don't think that's a set that I normally wear at all. So they kind of just gave us some set of equipment. And I'm supposed to head that way, basically. Alright. 
And you can't have a horse. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be running for a while. Let's see, so I'm like halfway there-ish? There's this area that has two guards. And at, true to the description, I have no equipment. I just have my arm. I can't take that away. But yeah, I have a bionic arm, no other equipment. There's two guards over here. I'm very tempted to go down there and try to take them out. Because they have weapons, at least. The obvious problem is that whatever weapons I do find, they're goddamn, uh... They're, they're not going to be silenced. Or tranquilizers, for that matter. Let's see here. Just trying to be careful. I wonder if I can just sneak into their building. Hello. Maybe I'll get lucky and have, like, equipment in here. I have to be very careful not to make noise, unless I really want to make noise to draw them in. Primary weapon ammo, cool, for that... That weapon I don't have. Alright, no such luck at finding a spare weapon here. They're talking about how amazing I am? At least they're talking about how they're not trained to deal with me, that's pretty funny. If I'm lucky, they'll spread out a little bit so I can get behind both of them. Oh, is he looking this way? I think he is. Eh? I think this is my best my best chance is just to knock them out and see how that works out. Check it out. Go. What was it? What could it be? Huh? Huh? Eh? You're right, there's nothing here. You should leave now. There we go. Alright. Grab me a gun. I honestly expected that they would, uh... I was hoping waiting for them to turn around for a moment would give me a brief moment where the other one wasn't going to see me in time. Ta-da! The good news is I have guns, so that's nice. Bad news is they're not silenced at all. Where is it? There it is. Hey, don't... Hey, you two, you, you both stay put now. Prisoners. Spit it out. The map has been updated. Well, at least I can. St at least you can still Fulton people. So one thing I'm going to make note of is the fact that knocking those guys out did not keep them knocked out for long at all. So I would say that's probably because uh, they probably. I don't know, I, I probably have- it says one star, so it's probably the starting version of the, uh, fist. The bionic arm, so it probably has a shitty knockout, or they're higher level enemies that are just less likely to be knocked out, because they are clearly higher ranks when you look at them in the binoculars, with, like they have some kind of A+, plus and stuff like that here or there, as opposed to the C's and D's, and maybe even E's that I was encountering when I actually did this mission in the first place. Alright, now we're coming up on there, and I'm pretty sure I recognize this area, so it's definitely that one place where I used, had to use that explosive to take out those tanks. Are they gonna expect me to do that here? Because I can't- I mean, I didn't bring one last time either, which was the big mistake, because I hadn't developed one yet, but this time I barely have weapons. The target is there. Thanks for the intel. Thought he might brief me a little more than that. Usually when I hit square, I just think he's gonna talk for a while. Uh... So, this is interesting because this is actually, this is probably my, oh, hello mine. Those weren't there before. Maybe they won't do the whole tank thing. I don't know. Is it listed on the objectives for this game, this mission? Mission. 
destroy the comms at Eastern Communication. That's all it says, and the other ones are mystery still. I wonder if they're the same ones that were there before. Identify and destroy the comms equipment. Yep, that's it. Gotta find a way to destroy it, too. You can't mark bombs? Oh, well. Oh, well, those are bombs, though. Keep an eye out for those. Those were definitely not there before. I'm very happy to hear a vehicle, because that means someone's leaving. Holy crap, that guy is armored, by the way. When, some, when someone's an A+, plus and an A++, plus plus, you don't really want to start that fight. And he's an analyzer. Seems to have positive traits. Don't think there's comms equipment right here. That's... Is that a... He's... He he looks weird. I think that's actually... Whoa! Are the, de are the decoys gonna start moving now? That's a decoy. But he's moving, which is freaky. They couldn't do that originally. I'm looking for a radar dish of any kind. Enemy presence detected. The oh yeah. Is being updated. Definitely missing having a dog, that's for sure. Hey guys. Analysis complete. A lot of high ranking enemies around. I'm gonna try to get in quietly. The problem is I don't know how I'm gonna destroy the equip hello. Analysis complete. Look who's got the rocket launcher I might need. Some sort of stinger missile or something. A word that I only know because of, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2? Where in the final mission you have to use a Stinger rocket launcher to fight most of the enemies? Because you're fighting Metal Gears one-on-one -on -one as Raiden? I guess this might be spoilers for something. It's such an old game, though. Sun will rise Whoa! Some- Why, yes, it will rise momentarily. It's up immediately. Kind of hoping these guys will screw off. Because I want to- I feel like I'm, I might need that rocket launcher, although I could really use some kind of explosive like that. I can I, if I get C4, I could place on a bunch of things without having to stick around. Analysis complete. Hey, new guy. He has a gunsmith for handguns, and he's also ooh, he's also got a rocket launcher. Maybe I could change targets. Might be a better idea than trying to go after that guy that's super high rank down there. This was back in the days where I was tr constantly going into the bo into the box, hoping it would solve my problems. Solve some of my problems, but this was the specific mission where the box strategy was falling apart in front of me. The problem for me is when I if I try to knock somebody out, I don't know what kind of sound radius it has, like how screwed I'm gonna be. Don't don't turn around. Not that fast. No. Cool, no one seems to have noticed. Huh. Please don't look over here. Killer B. There it is. Oh, is that a guy walking over there? Shit. Well, I just saw a comms dish. That's something. I just want to get this guy- yeah, there's two comms dishes over there. There's a guy patrolling. Just gonna want to sneak away a little bit. I hope that's out of range. Alright, so I got a rocket launcher. With one shot. We'll find out if that's worth it. There's not much reason to deal with that guy right now, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore his rank. I, I get so many, uh... The FOB missions, that I, or whatever they're called. The online versions of uh, combat missions I send people on. Uh, get me so many high-ranking soldiers, I don't think I need to bother with Boltoning people just because they look like they're important. Hello, friend. Don't suppose you have any idea how many I'm supposed to find, game? I mean, the game does, but does my character, does my, does Miller know? Kazuhira Mila. So ideally, I wouldn't fire a single shot with my gun, because it's noisy. But I don't know. Alright. That's apparently confirmation we have all three of them. I just need an explosive. Hopefully. 
That'd be ideal. I think I've heard you can just shoot them a lot, but I feel like that might- that would go poorly for me. Around the time everyone tries to kill me. Was that a sound indicating someone's onto me? Hello, stinger missile guy. Uh-oh. Is he coming straight over here? No. No. Uh-oh. Well, I might get myself a second missile. Come on over, buddy. I just want to grab you. I played some other stealth mission, stealth game not too long ago where I was infuriated by the fact that you couldn't just do that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, they only get one shot each? That's frustrating. Is he coming up this way? Oh yeah, he is. Analysis complete. Well, that's a problem. Yes, it is. Did no one hear that immediately? Oh shit. All right, well this went bad. Oh, this got this got worse. This got worse. All right, we're getting loud. Where's the other where's the one down there? Where is it? I can't see it. There it is. One down. Two down. <laughs> Sorry. Where's my? I need, I need that other killer bee. Oh, I do have. I do have another shot. Sweet. Nope. That's, that guy's armored. No, don't be armored. Alright. Can I just destroy it this way? Yes. Ah ha ha. Must not run directly back into mines. Must not run directly into mines. Well, at least I got to location. It didn't go too bad in that I actually got to the location I needed to go to, and I had explosives to use. Is that the sound of a helicopter? Yes, it is. Fuck me. Right around now, I could really use another one of the... Right around now, I could use another one of those, uh... Oh, is this a... Is it really a sandstorm right now? Just a hel... Oh my god, there is a sandstorm. Ha 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 ha. I don't know which way I'm going. Am I going the right way? Sweet. <laughs> I would say the pro the primary benefit is I, I at least got into the location and I got two shots of a rocket launcher before breaking stealth. So at that point, unfortunately stealth was broken, but hey, I was able to get out cleanly enough. That might even be a decent rank mission, actually. Whoa, that was an S rank. All right, that's apparently how you play this game. <laughs> Also, I was wrong about which mission this was. I thought it was the one where you sneak through that one cliffside village with all the buildings that are super all over the place and my box plant was falling apart and at the end the the caravan comes through you're supposed to blow up, but that's that's totally the wrong mission. It was just another one that looked very similar on the map, but was also very familiar. I think they sent me there two or three times in the main campaign already. All right, guys, got it.
Bear. Bear. Oh yeah, and I fulton's a couple guys, I think. Yeah, the two at the front, and then maybe some other people, because I was just kind of trying to get them... I was trying to get them to go away. Once they were only knocked out, I was like, I can't let these people wake up because they're going to shoot me. <laughs> but at some point, there was just that one last guy that I just had to investigate, and I'm like, I don't have a clean way of taking you out. Ah. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, you've seen everything we've got on the outbreak. What's your opinion? Textbook symptoms. A vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain, meaning a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. So our Kikongo-speaking staff are at risk. Quite so. Hmm. He's right. All the victims do speak Kikongo. So they can survive if they just use another language. There is no guarantee you're only dealing with the Kikongo strain. Other language strains may be present. You well know he was teaching them languages from all over the world. The Devil's House. Nzoya Badia Bolu. There is no way to know how many strains he has at his disposal. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? You mentioned using microbes. Use this. A type of Wolbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. Wolbachia? A parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites. Turning male to female. And preventing copulation. You must cultivate more. What have you done with the infected bodies? Cremated to stop the spread of infection. But we did keep a few for study. Good. Take this sample, grind it to a pulp, and introduce it to the larvae now nesting in the dead. The Volbachia will multiply rapidly within those larvae. They're soldiers, not some petri dish. Conventional cultivation methods will take too long. Extract the Volbachia from those larvae and vaccinate your men. Kikongo speakers first. This is the fastest, surest way. No one is to speak a word of Kikongo until the Bobakia are safely inside them. I will instruct your medical staff in detail on site. You have the appropriate facilities. Yes, but do not worry. I made a pact with your Bitte Holone on the honor of the Dine. I speak no lies. Keep an eye on him. Will do. Follow me. I'll take you to the medical team. Now, we must wait for the Wolbachia to multiply in the larvae. How is the disease transmitted? If it's carried by insects or rodents, then... There is no intermediate host. So... The vocal cord parasites lay their eggs in the larynx of the host. Most hatch and migrate to the lungs but some are transported to the mouth through ciliary movement, mixing in with saliva. Saliva. Droplet transmission. Sneezing, coughing. Any food or water containing infected saliva. It would spread fast. Indeed. And when the larvae migrate to the lungs, symptoms can resemble the early stages of a cold making it easy to infect others. Meaning a simple conversation would be enough to pass it on. All right, so what happens after the larvae migrate to the lungs? It is as I said before. They mature by feeding on alveolar tissue. It is only then that noticeable symptoms appear in the host. And by that point, it's too late. He's infected everyone else. It's one hell of a weapon you've created. That is what Blag Anna wanted. Something that would spread easily. <sighs> In truth, he's not the reason. But we will discuss that another time. The Walbachia have multiplied. 
We're preparing to extract them and begin vaccinating. But is this really the only way? Sure, it'll prevent infection, but the cost... You would rather remove their vocal cords? No. Tactical communication's a linchpin of what we do. What if we were to ban the use of Kakongo? Insufficient. First, there's no guarantee that only the Kikango strain is here. Second, there is the matter of how the parasites lay their eggs. Before they can copulate, they must be exposed to the pronunciation of a specific language for a period of time. Like a container filling with water. But the duration between when the container is full and when the copulation actually begins varies from case to case. In other words, even if the infected stops speaking as a countermeasure, it may already be too late. The only true solution is to prevent copulation through the Wolbachia, or by physically removing the affected tissue. Yeah. Do any anti-parasitics work? It sounds as though you have already tried. Yeah. We tried everyone there is, and nothing. I have yet to find a medicine that can remove the parasites. At best, it temporarily covers their ears. Why is that? Because the parasites are... companions to us. To remove them inevitably harms the host. Companions? More than you think. And this is why the human immune system cannot eliminate them. <laughs>